Lisa Floor ES utilizes intuitive floor by floor model input to design and optimize building systems constructed of elevated concrete slabs. In addition to concrete slabs, Risa Floor ES includes all of Risa Floor's ability to design composite and non composite steel, concrete, masonry, wood, and cold form steel. In this video, we will review the design results of a two way slab design in Risa Floor ES. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have my model set up here. It's a multi story wood frame structure sitting on top of a concrete podium. But we are going to focus on the podium design portion. I've already entered the slabs properties and here we've already got all of our support lines drawn for our design strip method we specified. So we're going to set up our design rules here and since we're using the design strip method we'll look at the north-south rebar as well as the east-west rebar. I set up my design rules here in the spreadsheet but I also could have pressed this little red arrow here to enter them as well. But let's look at our load combination spreadsheet. We have several load combinations I have already generated. You could also use the generator here like we do in the regular Risa floor. In the design tab, you can see which combinations I have assigned to the concrete material. Now I'm going to solve this model. So I'm first going to review my design results using the graphical results tool. I'm going to display our reinforcement for the north-south bottom bars. So we've got number fives at 10 inches on center for our bottom bars. But if I view my top bars, you can see here that Risa Floor optimized the top reinforcement over my supports so that it's only occurring where it's needed. We can also look at our design's punching shear values here in the results spreadsheet. Or we can choose to see the highlighted concrete columns detail report. Click the View Detail Report. That will jump you right into the punching shear portion of the detail report for this column. If you want to learn a little bit more about the slabs reinforcement, I can choose this detail report option and I'm going to select my support line. Now I have a detail report for the full support line that I drew. We can see here the shear and moment diagrams and it's broken up in between the individual spans. We can see where we have positive moment, where the top reinforcement was required so that it's for the total design strip. If I want to filter this a little bit more, what I can do is actually come here and I can look specifically at that column strip. I can look at the shear and moment diagram for that column strip. So if we scroll down a little further, we can see the diagram for the reinforcement that's being provided where we have the positive bending moment. Scrolling down a little bit further, you'll see here that we've actually got some different locations along the length of the support line, but we also have here where we have the governing cut. To learn more about one of these specific design cuts, I can choose this cut option up here. I'm going to select cut and now I can choose to view the forces for the column strip. So maybe I want to take a look at the first span here and then I'm going to choose a cut within this span. I'm going to choose to look at the first cut and we'll see that we've got both the top and bottom reinforcement required and all of the code checks. But if I choose a cut that's more at the mid span, you'll see that we don't have the required reinforcement in the top anymore because it's not needed. At this point, we've completed the design of our slab and could then move on to exporting the design to a DXF or printing the result reports. For those topics, as well as information on other topics, please visit our website, risa.com.